Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Plan 2. My name is Nisa and today I'm gonna do something I normally don't do because normally I don't make a video on the same mod twice. Uh, pretty much because they don't change that much from update to update. But I recently made a video on the main wolf mod by Nicholas Linerider and Leaf Production. And only a few weeks after I made that video, uh, I saw uh, Leaf's mud case, you know, the one he makes every Sunday. And he said that Bubbly Wounds has come along and reworked the mud and remastered it, basically. So it's still the same place you get the mud, it's still the same um, base. But he just tweeted a little bit, so I'm looking so much forward to see how much he actually tweaked it, and uh, hopefully it became much better. Because as you see here on the two pictures, picture below me is a real picture of a main wolf, and the picture next to me is um the original main wolf mud by Leaf Production and Nicholas Linewriter. And uh, I had some, honestly, I felt bad by uploading that video. I only felt comfortable doing it because I know it's two mothers that I normally praise very, really, really high on my channel. So I know it wouldn't hurt them in any way. Um, and I do believe they both have a little bit of humor and could take it. Um, I would like to take credit for the, the remaster since it was two weeks after my video, but basically, probably they have been working on it on already. Um, and again, I'm a very small channel. I just got my 50th uh, subscriber today, so I'm real, real, real happy about that. Um. But I'm a real, real small channel, so I honestly don't think any of these mothers see my video. I know Lee's seen one of my videos because he commented on it, but otherwise I don't think they watch my videos. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, as you can see here, I had, I had issues. The most issues I had was the main, which is pretty much... Which is known from where it kind of looks like an extra coat it have on the shoulders and down the back. And on the mud it pretty much just looked like a mohawk. So uh, I wasn't impressed by that. And it was completely flat. It didn't have any depth in the fur. It didn't have any fur texture. It was pretty much just flat and then painted strands of hair on top of it so it's yeah it again not the worst mud out there probably but both mothers can do better i will say though the, the build of the wolf works fine um and as you can see here it has the right drawings with the wider tail the darkness on the top of the back the dark uh paws in this um, but it's just not perfect. So, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it here. And I click there so I also can see it. And look at this beauty. Of course, she is not even in focus now. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna leave my video up on the original main wolf. Uh, but I'm probably gonna pin a comment that it's been updated and linked to this video. But if you want to see the whole process where it started and how beautiful it is now, uh, go watch that video too. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Uh, and I, I do believe the mothers will also really appreciate you seeing the effort and... How much another Logan things can help sometimes. Uh, we're gonna go th through Zoopedia. I don't think they uh, changed anything in here, but uh, and I can't remember everything from the last month, but I don't think they remembered anything, uh, changed anything in here. 
uh, but it's at least concern animal and there's 20,000 of them left in the wild. They live in South America, more specifically Brazil, Paraguay, Argentina, Bolivia and Peru and they live in grassland, timbered and tropical biome. One of them need 100, sorry, 1,162 square meters of land and nothing else, but they do swim if you give them the opportunity. Uh, as you just saw, and uh, they also swim in the right level in the water. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know some mutts either dive or just float above water. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's one of the kings the mothers haven't quite figured out yet. But you need a great two fans for feed one to five. A meter 30, a meter 40, something around there. And jumping in here. One male, one female, or two males or two females you can have. Uh, but no more than two. Um, alpha male. And then monogamous. They are confident and guess you not into the habitat. Both males and females grow to... 36 inch high at the shoulder and now I need to calculate inch and it's time two and a half so times two that's 72 and a half that's plus 18 90 centimeters um, so it's just around it's just under a meter they live for six and a half years. That's really not that much. Um, and the male weigh around 41 pounds and the female 45. And half of that would be in um, kilo. So it's about 20 and 22.5 kilos. Um, but a bit them they reach sexual maturity at age one and a half and they can reproduce until they die they will give between one and three offspring every 12 months that's every year and they are pregnant for two months and they should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity they have interspecies enrichments what with the tape here i can't pronounce i'm not even gonna try anymore it i can't pronounce it i'm sorry the capybara and the giant and eater understand they live in the same areas but if the tape here got a baby wouldn't they at least go for the baby probably also a, a, a adult capybara but at least the babies they would eat I would think, I wonder if it's a mistake or if they know something I don't. That is a possibility. I'm not claiming to be the most clever YouTuber on the, in the world. Uh, oh, enrichment. Oh, the baby dives. Baby dives. But the mama don't. Uh, we have a lot. We have 13 different enrichment here. We have the beaver dam and the pool. Then we have the bubble machine, the tug road, the praise and the tag. All three of the small balls. Um, sprinkler. Um, the, uh, choo, 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 what's it called? Chew toy. Sorry. <laughs> a blog of ice. Uh, blood scent marker and the rubber ducky. Food enrichment, we have five to pick between, and that's actually a lot for a mod. So we have the bamboo feeder and the dog ball, both pinatas and the rotating line feeder. Yeah, sorry, it's the names. But let's get a close up here. No, 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 don't, don't go for the water because I want you dry. We don't want to look at a wet one because I really want to show you this. I think it got wet. Yeah. 
first of all the fluffiness here is much better i would like to have that line here where you could see it was almost a blanket or a coat on top of the shoulder i would like still to have that but the fur looks at it it looks furry it has dimension it, it, here you can see the fluffiness issue in the game uh, that's not the mother's fault it is the game the um tail looks fluffy it doesn't look firm it looks very compact and kind of plasticky before now it's very fluffy uh, we have a tiny bit of glitching going on keep in mind that might be my computer and not the mud uh the legs okay the gradient right what's it called the um change of color here is very fluent and we have that very deep color tone here so it's not completely black because if it were completely black and i think the old legs were then they will look completely flat because you can't add shadow or anything like that without using other colors than black because shade on black is black um so so here i think they used a dark brown and a dark gray to highlight and then the diff um shadow of the black and it really worked very nice the claws also looks like they should and they got those white parts here which i also think they missed before i think the snout have become a little more snouty and overall it looks uh wider in the face and in the body but i think it's because they used the same model and then added all the fluffy fur so it would become more wide that way that's also i'm not fat i'm just fluffy <laughs> i just have fur <laughs> i would like to have that uh, excuse the eyes are very beautiful and ooh, eyebrow hair and whiskers we like that and they have these very very weird ears which the main wolf have so again point to them um i have no idea if nicholas line rider and uh, leaf were like okay we want to we know we have this mud but we want to do it better uh, and we know bubbly wombs are very good at what we need to fix so they called him in or if he called and say hey can can i please fix this over oh, what they did i have no idea um but it was a good decision and i actually think in my video i mentioned that i really wished that someone would remaster this because looks how beautiful so beautiful Yeah, I really went from I never want to see this mud again to I really want to build for this mud at some point. So it's going on my list. Um, yeah, we, we should also see the baby. I'm not sure how many baby we have, but we at least have one. And it's, I'm not going to pronounce that name, but he is 0 0.4 years old. And first of all, this is clearly a puppy. You 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 watch this and you're not like it could be a fox type adult or anything like that. The dimensions make it look puppy. I would like the eyes to be a tiny bit bigger. But as you know, if you follow me, I like the adults to be very real and look like real animals as much as possible. But I like the babies to have a tiny hint of cartoonish features to make them more baby-like. Um, but that's a personal choice. Nothing. It, it doesn't mean that mothers should do that to cater specifically to me. I know some mothers have that where they make them a tiny bit cartoonish. And some of them don't. This is not cartoonish at all. 
and it's very beautiful. I would like to have this as a titty, to be honest. I think I said that with all of the dog mods, but as you can see back here, I like teddies. <laughs> I like plushies a lot, and um, yeah. And no, they can't get too big. Um, but yeah, so beautiful. So beautiful. They can really be, be very proud of this. Again, a little bit of glitching. Keep in mind that might be my computer. Uh, here, the fur is clearly shorter on the puppy. Um, it is still a little bit fluffy here on the side, you can see. But it's clearly shorter. It doesn't have the mane yet at all but it's beautiful oh all well, well, both the parents and the pups are very beautiful it is the little diving issue with the pups but if you don't plan to give them water to swim in that's not an issue at all uh, and with this mud is like all of the other muds i talk about if you want to build for this main wolf if you want to use this mud then please do if you think it's a stupid mud and you don't want to waste your time on it then don't it it's all everything with these mud is so sub subjective sorry um <laughs> um and and there's no right and wrong answer and i actually really like after making more than a hundred mud videos that i kind of not that i can see a mud and tell who made it but i kind of see small hints of style all around but a, a lot of the muds have multiple mothers on them so it makes a lot but uh, yeah Bubbly Wombs, thank you so much for being a part of this and for helping Nicholas Linerider and Leaf Production to fix this because it needed to. Um, I, I'm not gonna... I'm uh, Wow, I've been talking for more than 15 minutes now, so I'm gonna end this video here. You know, to guys, like, subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again at the end of the comment section below. Or in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>